What's up guys, CJ here and welcome back to another all new Blade Runner 2049 video. Piggybacking off of Luke's video from earlier this week explaining the origins and duties of the LAPD's specialized replicant hunters, the Blade Runners, we figured it might be a good idea to break down the other side of that coin. What is a replicant? Originally, in the book the movie was based on, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep by Philip K. Dick, the artificial humans were, as the title suggests, androids, robotic humanoids designed to mimic and serve humans, but were mechanically artificial all the same. In the movie, the replicants are much more complex. First and foremost, they're not androids at all. In fact, they're actually completely bioengineered artificial humanoids, completely made up of organic matter. That's right, 100% organic. They look like humans, talk like humans, and would even bleed like humans too. However, as they were engineered instead of naturally created, many have strength, speed, and intelligence far above and beyond normal human capabilities. The replicants learn behavior and actions kind of like children do, by watching and mimicking actual humans. And this even comes down to emotions, which Nexus 6s can dangerously develop over time, supplemented by false memories implanted during their creation, which kind of act as a replacement for actual emotional background. Despite looking like us, talking like us, and in some situations even feeling like us, the one thing a replicant cannot do is feel empathy, something the voight kampf test is designed to measure in figuring out whether or not an individual is actually a human or just a replicant. In a weird way, and kind of like cars, the replicants come in various models. Just in the Terrell Corporation's Nexus 6 class, and even more specifically, even just the few that we got to see in the first movie, there is pretty clear design to designations amongst the replicants. For example, Roy Batty is a combat model, as is Leon. Pris Stratton is a pleasure model, pretty standard from what the movie tells us, while Jorah's designation is unclear, but it's kind of suggested she might have been a combat model as well. That's not to mention other replicant types not shown in the movies, like those that would take on construction work, hazardous projects, and heavy lifting, or replicant animals, which was a much bigger deal in the original novel than it was made out to be in the film. Replicants are divided even further into levels of mental and physical capability, with mental levels being the ones we heard about the most in the movie itself. While physical level of course measures strength and speed, mental level gauges the thought processing speed, essentially how quick a replicant is designed to think. Using some of the movie's replicants for example, Leon is an A-level physical but only a C-level mental, while Pris Stratton is also an A-level physical but only a B-level mental. Roy Batty, the leader of the rogue replicants, is an A-level for both, which is part of why he was so dangerous. The downside to the replicants? Well, they've only got a four-year lifespan. In Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep, that was actually just a technological limit, as the scientists of the time were unable to figure out how to expand the robot's lifespans beyond that four-year limit. However, the movie presents a different and more sinister solution, that the four-year lifespan is actually an intentional failsafe to cut down the replicants as they would eventually begin to develop actual emotions and become dangerously unstable, kind of like rampancy in artificial intelligence. That's about it as far as a primer on replicants goes though, so let us know in the comment section down below what you thought and if you have questions. Don't forget to smash that like if you like what you saw, subscribe for more great content every single day, and consider turning on your notifications for updates whenever we release a new video. Thanks for watching again, signing off, this is CJ, and I'll see you next time.